itong floating logo niya, hindi ganun nakikita eh. So, para sa akin, it could have been better kung dito lang, na dito na lang din nilagay sa top yung floating logo instead of dito. It's me again, Gla, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's vlog, it's another review. And yesterday, the review ko yung infinite camera bag ng um, Kate Spade coated canvas. So this time around, I'm going to share with you the tote naman. But before that, I just want to say thank you for those people who watch my recent videos and for those people who recently subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Um, okay, so right now, wag na natin patagalin pa. Okay, so this is the bag that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so ganyan pa rin, um, same as dun sa camera bag. And then, yung style code niya here, it's PXR00304. Um, it's also in pink multi na collection. This is medium north-south tote. And then, yung name ng, like, siguro yung, what do you call this? Yung design is Rowan Spade Flower Coated Canvas. So, yun yung nakalagay dito. Yan. Okay. And let's open. Yan. And the bag that I'll be talking about is this. Ta-da! So, nasabi ko na rin naman, North, South, tote or ito yung vertical tote ng collection na to. It's very nice and also forgot to mention nung review ko yung infinite camera bag. So, yan. Coated, uh, I mean, Kate Spade spade um, coated canvas because of this spade design. Okay? So, again, um, the color is in pink multi but na-share ko na rin naman na it's not really pink. It's in wine color or in um, ox blood color. And yung mga spade niya here, um, para siyang faded na color ng ox blood. And may pagka beige siya guys eh. So, ayan. Ganyan yung detail. Or details rather ng um, canvas. Ganun din dito sa side. At the back side. So, yan. Okay. So, ito yung bag. There. Um, here, kung yung infinite camera bag, nandito yung uh, floating logo. This time around, dito sa vertical tote na to, or dito sa north-south tote na to, yung floating logo niya nandito, Kate Spade, New York. It's also in champagne color. And then, it has this leather trimming dito both sides front and back meron siyang leather trimming yan and meron siyang rivets then uh, both sides left and right and then front and back so meron siyang like eight rivets kasi kahit dito meron yan so i believe itong rivets na to siya yung naguhold dito sa leather na to from sa end Yan, yan yung ginamit nilang design. Yan. Okay. Um, and obviously, it has these two handles that you can carry the bag as a top handle. Yan. Um, at the back, ito, um, no slip pocket, no feet. Ito lang talaga siya, guys. Um, the floating logo nandyan sa harapan. And then... Um, top zip closure and it has this 2D rings because this bag meron siyang attachable or detachable and adjustable strap. Okay, so ito, um, this one, the D rings and also tong pull, slider, and yung teeth ng zipper, it's also in champagne color and yung zipper niya, it's also in wine color. So it's nice. Ang ganda ng combination ng hardware at ng kulay. Bumagay siya dito sa coated canvas na to. Okay, inside. Yan. So, andito yung tag, guys. And before, um, 
I move on para discuss yung inner features ng bag na to. Yung tag niya, um, yung suggested retail price here, it's 228 in Canadian dollars. And in US, it's 198 dollars. But this one, um, here in Philippines, magpupot na lang ako ng range because nung unang labas nito, 12,000 plus talaga siya. Um, but this time, nung nag-sale siya, same as the Infinite Camera Bag, magbibigay na lang ako ng range. Probably, you can get this. Nung sale, nag-range yung price na to, 6,000 to 8,000. Yun na lang yung range ko kasi depende if it's going to be sea cargo or air cargo. So, yun yung price ng bag na to. Okay, so going back, inside of the bag, dito, same as the Infinite Camera Bag, meron siyang emblem na spade here and a zipper pocket as well yan that you can put your small things na gusto mo secure yan and ang difference niya itong vert itong um, north south tote meron siyang extra slip pocket that you can put your makeup um probably charger or power bank yan and then the main compartment so yeah, ganyan siya sa loob. It comes with um, dust bag. Kasi this one is retail. And ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. It has this um, detachable and adjustable strap. And yung color niya, it's also in wine color. Tignan natin. So later, i-try natin siya. So yes. This is in wine color. It is adjustable. And... Um, champagne color din siya. Ayan, may Kate Spade. And mas thin yung strap nito as compared dun sa infinite camera bag. Mas ano siya? Mas manipis siya. So, later i-try natin. So, yun yung features ng bag na to. Okay, so now let's try to measure the bag. Kung ano yung approximate measurements nito. So recap, um, for the length, it's 10.5 inches. For the height, it's also 10.5 inches. Then, yung width niya, this one is 4.5 inches across the top. And also, bago ko i-measure yung drop ng bag, i-share ko lang din. So ganito siya, yung strap niya. Mas manipis tong strap ng vertical tote or ng north-south tote as compared dun sa infinite um, na strap or infinite camera bag. This one is like uh, 0.6 yung ano niya, yung measurement niya. Unlike yung sa infinite camera bag, it's 1 inch. So, the, in this one, 0.60 um, inch yung lapad ng strap. And yung difference na din, guys, yung hole non a rectangle and it has five holes. This one, yung normal na hole ng strap and it has six six holes. Yan, one, two, three, four, five. Six, six holes. And also, another difference is ito, um, this one rivets siya, round or circle, yung parang head ng button pero yung infinite triangle or yung symbol ng house. So, yun yung difference. So, this one, ipupull mo lang siyang ganyan if you want to adjust. But, hindi ko na siya i-adjust. Uh, kasi ito yung parang pinaka-normal na setup niya. Yung um, setup niya nasa third and fourth. So, yung drop ng bag, approximately, yung drop ng bag is 21 inches. So, yun yung... Um, measurements ng bag na to. Now, let's try to put things inside. So, since uh, medyo mas malaki to dun sa camera bag, let's try to put like, um, tignan natin kung kasha ang 14-inch laptop here. I'm not so sure, guys. Hindi ko pa natatry, pero itry natin. So, this one is a 14-inch laptop. Kung kasha. And no, hindi siya kasha. Laptop, hindi kasha. Probably tablet magkakasya dito. Okay, um, umbrella. So, ito yung regular na payong. Let's try kung magkakasya siya. Um, ganyan. Yung magiging itsura, so hindi nyo siya makuklose. Um, pagpahiga naman, hindi rin. Pwede, nakaslant. Ganyan. Okay. 
Binibigyan ko lang kayo ng idea kung ano yung mga pwede nyo ilagay dito. Um, regular notebook. This one. Let's, let me try if mag-fit. Kailangan nyo lang siyang ipaslant na yung paglagay nyo dapat paslant para magkasya. But yeah, it fits. Yan, yung notebook. Um, I have a KK kit. Malak mas malaking KK kit tong dala ko. Um, nandiyan na lahat, guys, ng kailangan ko. So, lagay natin dyan. A small, or a small wallet and big wallet. Kasha dito. Um, what else? Um, this one is wet wipes. My comb. So, ganyan na itsura niya, guys. Yan. And, pwede kong i-utilize tong zipper pocket. Here, I can put my sanitizer. My hand cream. So, yan. And also, you can add lipstick pa. So, may space pa siya dyan. And, meron ka pa rito slip pocket. Probably, you can put your ID, um, documents, passbook, may small purse, try kong ilagay. So, ganyan. Yes, nandun siya. And, um, this one is tissue. So, try ko rin siyang ilagay. So, ganyan, nakalagay. So, marami kayong malalagay, guys. Yan. And if you will also try to put this um, umbrella na nakapaslant, kasha. Ayan o. Oh. And lalagay ko na lang dito sa ibabaw yung what do you call this? Wet wipes. And let me try. So, ganito yung sura niya, guys, ha. Pero in reality, syempre, aayusin nyo yan. Um, okay. And kasha yung payong, guys. Islant nyo lang. Yan. Na-close siya. So, marami kayong malalagay dito sa tote na to. So, those are the things that you can um, put inside of the bag. Okay, so right now naman, I'm gonna show you kung ano itsura niya kapag gamit natin tong bag na to. So, first, I'm using these two handles. Ilagay lang natin siya sa grip ng arm. Yan, ganyan na magiging itsura niya. Ang nice niya. Pag ganyan. So, yan yung itsura. Siyempre, ganyan na ito pa. Yan. And using this adjustable and detachable strap, hindi ko na change again. Nasa second, nasa third and fourth siya from here sa top. Well, actually, even naman siya kasi six holes. So, kahit dito sa baba, pang third and fourth yung um, kung nasaan yung rivets. Yeah. So, as a long shoulder bag, I'm not seeing myself na gamitin siya as a long shoulder bag kasi since um, I put a lot of things, so yung weight niya talagang paganon. So, um, for me, hindi ko iniisip or hindi ko nakikita na gamitin ko as a long shoulder bag. It's not appealing para sa akin. So, ganyan. Um, how it looks. Side, front, and then at the back. Again, um, pwede nyo siyang i-adjust. Probably, pwede pa siyang maging ganyan kahaba. Ganyan. Depende rin sa height nyo, guys. And, for your reference, 5'2 yung height ko. And now, as a crossbody bag, yan. This is how it looks. Front, side, and then at the back. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. So, for as a crossbody bag, pwede pa. Pwede ko pa siyang gamitan as a crossbody bag. Nakikita ko yung sarili ko na gamitan ito sa crossbody bag din. But, yung pinaka-best para sa akin, um, as ano lang, ganito lang. Yung ilalagay sa click ng arm, using these two handles, and pwede ka rin maglakad ng, baba mo lang siyang ganyan, and mag-walk ka na. <laughs> so, yun. Those are the ways on how to use this North Sab tote bag. Okay, guys. So, patapos na tayo. Yan. So, na-pressure na natin yung bag. I tried to put a lot of things inside and minodal natin yung bag. Right now, my thoughts on this bag. Para sa akin, perfect siya as an office or work bag because of the features and yung size ng bag. And then, 
Um, I also like yung design niya. Um, ito, coated canvas. It's not. Nasabi ko na to dun sa infinite camera bag. Hindi siya yung cloth. Coated canvas siya. So, madali lang siyang i-manage. And then, um, itong floating logo niya, hindi ganun nakikita eh. So, para sa akin, it could have been better kung dito, lang, dito na lang din nilagay sa top yung floating logo instead of dito. But, I totally get it. Siguro, Kaya dito sa baba, dahil dito sa two handles na to, um, gusto nilang i-emphasize tong design ng two handles, yung a piece or leather nito, instead na ito yung magiging focus. But para sa akin, um, kahit na nandito yung floating logo, okay pa rin naman. So that's just my personal opinion. It's also good that Meron siyang adjustable strap, again, to create different looks. Kung gusto niyo ng casual look, so you can do as a crossbody or a long shoulder bag. But for me, um, okay sa akin na um, like yung ilalagay lang sa crick ng arm as a tote bag. And tama lang yung, um, what do you call this, yung measurement or yung length ng two handles. Um, yeah. So, hindi naman siya masakit sa um, sa kamay and para din mag, mas mas ano yung support niya mas better kasi kung mas mahaba i think um, yung weight ng bag pababa so better na short yung handle para okay yung support kapag nilagay sa crick ng arm and then um, i like that you can put a lot of things um, na amaze ako kasi na amaze talaga i mean na surprise ako na kasha dito yung payong a slant mo nga lang talaga. Hindi yung talagang parang tayong-tayo siya. Um, what else? In terms of price, um, para sa akin, this, yung price niya reasonable dun sa sale na price ha. Like yung sinabi ko na range 6,000 to 8,000. But if this one is 12,000 plus, uh, medyo mat, ano, mahal na yun for me. But, well, I totally get it kasi nga retail item. So, syempre alam niyo naman, pag retail item, as compared sa outlet, mas mahal si retail item. Ano pa? Size. Okay din yung size. Perfect yung size. This one is small to medium for me. But more on medium size ng bag na siya. Yung color, again, this is an ox blood color na sabi ko na rin um, is the new black. So, madali lang din naman bagayan yung color. Um, ano pang masasabi ko? The bag, it's very lightweight, although since nalagyan natin siya ng maraming gamit, of course, may bigat na rin siya konti. But the bag itself, it's very lightweight. So that's it guys! Yun lang yung masasabi ko sa bag na to. I don't have anything against about this bag. Maganda siya, to be honest. Um, if you will ask me kung ano yung pipiliin ko sa Infinite and dito sa tote na to, mahirap kasi depende dun sa pangangailangan nyo. The Infinite Camera Bag, you can use it more on mauling, um, yung easy lang na parang easy to grab bag, very compact, um, as a crossbody bag, yon okay yon Mas gusto, go with the Infinite um, Camera Bag at pangingi ng mga manok dito guys pero ano pahapon pa lang i don't know bakit sila uh, ano ba yan nakiki join sa vlog ko but anyway um going back so kung gusto mo naman ng pang work bag or office bag at kung marami ka ng mga cross body bag this one is a good alternative maganda sila pareho guys so, so nasa inyo na lang depende sa pangangailangan niyo okay so, that's it! Thank you so much for keeping up with me until the end of this video. If na enjoy nyo, I just hope you click the like button. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and can be hit the notification bell so that you're always notified if I have a new video. And also guys, if you do have comments, um, feedback, questions, feel free to utilize the comment section below. And nasagot naman ako sa mga queries nyo or... Um, I'm trying my best to fulfill yung mga requests niya. So that's it. Thank you guys and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye!